and some cuts, but you're in this fight and you are going to win it. Yes, yes. Mm. All oh, let us know that we are more, more than, than conquerors. Come on, let yes. him that love us. Now, Timothy, uh, Paul's son in the gospel, amen. Timothy was taught from early, early childhood to, amen, to stick diligently in what he had learned. And the Bible do says in Proverbs, train up a child in the way that he should go. Yes. And when he's old or she's old, amen, they will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. Amen. They might go, might get prodigal. That's they right. might stray, but amen. they have Hallelujah. something to come back to. Yes. That's right. Foundation. We, 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 we living in a time now where we're living in a generational, a generation that's so change from what it used to be. Now we know that change is good, but it should be for the better, not for the worse. Come on now. Amen. And Paul instructed Timothy and told him that he had known the scripture from a child, amen, which was able to make him wise under salvation. Uh -huh. Everybody says salvation. 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 Told him he was able to be wise under salvation. The Bible is the word of God. It's the inspired word. Yes. It's not just, uh, it's not a novel. It's not, amen, or another book that on the shelf that you learn and you go to school and you, you, somebody said that it's good to go to school, but get your learning, but don't lose your burning. Uh -huh. And the Bible is God's inspired word. Yes. And Paul had told Timothy from a child, early childhood, your mother, Eunice, grandmother Eunice and Lois, mother and grandmother had taught him, amen, the word of God. And he had learned. And Paul took this young boy and, amen, instructed him in God's word. And, amen, learned more in the word. Now, in the fourth chapter uh, you got, amen, the fourth chapter of 2 Timothy. Kind of like it's in instructions. Everybody say instructions. Yeah. Instructions. It's divine instructions. Paul reiterating what he had learned all the way from the first chapter in this 2 Timothy. Paul getting ready to be offered up. Mm -hmm. Paul getting ready to go off the scene. Mm. Paul, amen getting ready to lay his life down, getting ready to, amen, to die, getting ready to go before Nero's chopping block. Oh, hallelujah. And getting ready to be headed. Yes, and yes. Paul was reminding Timothy to carry on. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, in that first chapter, Paul was talking more about Thanksgiving. I'm just going to... Gonna, gonna talk a little bit. Come then on, give, gonna, it gonna, give it to us. Give it to us. Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. Paul in that first chapter was kind of reminding Timothy about Thanksgiving. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Everybody say Thanksgiving. 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 He was reminding them about Thanksgiving and not only Thanksgiving but with responsibility. Come on now. Amen. Uh, too much is given, much is expected. Uh -huh. Sometimes we raise our children up in church and. Amen. We expect them to know. Amen. Train. They've been trained. They've been trained in the head, in the heart, mm -hmm. in the hand. Amen. Three aspects of life. Head, heart, and hand. Amen. Everybody say head. 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 Say heart. Heart. Then say hand. Hand. So the Lord wants to train us in all those three different areas. He, and Paul reminded Timothy in that first chapter, we just gonna kind of ricochet until we get to the fourth chapter. Come on now. He's reminding him about Thanksgiving, and then Thanksgiving, and uh, 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 Thanksgiving and responsibility. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on now. And responsibility. Yeah. Responsibility. You're responsible for your actions. Come on now. Amen. The Bible said that in Ezekiel 18 chapter. Yeah, uh, the prophet said, all souls are mine, mm. soul of the father, soul of the son, but the soul that sinneth, it shall, shall die. die. Yes. And then they had a proverb at that time, 
in that 18th chapter of Ezekiel, they used that the children's teeth were set on edge. They said their fathers had sinned. How many know sometimes people like to hide behind excuses? Ah. Come on. They said their fathers had sinned. They had they had eaten sour grapes and their teeth was on the edge. And but he went on down to remind them that all God said, all souls of mine. Yes. Soul of the father, soul of the son. But the soul that sinned it, it shall die. Mm -hmm. Amen. Death to sin, sin brought death on us. Oh, and, yes. and then while looking at Timothy in that chapter 2, amen, if you study the book, Paul wants discipline. Yes. Everybody That's said it. discipline. Discipline. We need discipline. Come on now. Amen. Discipline. And not only discipline in our own life, but <laughs> discipline in our teaching. Come on. Come on. You, 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 what you learn and you're what you eat. Come on now. Realize that Jesus said in Matthew 4, for man shall not live by bread, by bread alone. Yes, yeah. yes. But by every word that proceeded, that proceeded out of the mouth, the mouth of God. Yes. yes. Amen. You need discipline in your teaching. In that second chapter, Paul talked about discipline in teaching. Why would we need discipline in our teaching? Mm. He wants you to be a single-minded soldier. Yeah. Sometimes people are double-minded. Mm. They don't know what the church is all about. They don't know how to get in the church. They don't know how to come in the church and stay in the church, stay with the church. Amen. The church is what's going to usher us into glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is coming back for, for the church. church. Come on, amen. He's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. He's going to, amen. He wants us to do all, amen. Render our best. Give our service. Come on now. Be a good soldier. Uh -huh. Step up to the responsibility. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Uh, amen. From the discipline teaching. Yes. Sometimes uh, we, if we don't train and teach, amen, what, what, what do they have to offer? They don't know how to stand. He wants us to be single-minded soldiers. Single yes, yes. Enduring. Enduring. That's Everybody say enduring. That's enduring. Learn how to endure. Hallelujah. Hardness as a good soldier. Uh -huh. Amen. We know that we have the Marine Corps. We have the Air Force. We got the Navy.